there again. You see, I'm in a different getup this time. A little bit as a, I call this my wastelandish silver shroud. I guess we them from the dust and stand out there and everything. Anyway, here we are. The year is almost over. Christmas is around the corner. And look what I get. The first box of the second season of the Fallout Loot Crate. Well, the second half of it was a big box of disappointment. Let's see if they listen to any feedback. Do I really want to look in here? Okay, well, this time the inside of the box is different. The uh, first thing I see is three boxes. Build a f build a figure. Another one. Let's see who it is this time. Take a wild guess on who this is going to be. Okay. Now. Now I'm a little excited. If you can build Liberty Prime, that'll be awesome. And I did consider talking about, talking like the Silver Shroud to this whole thing, but I figured that would be a little annoying. And this already... Hurts my throat. Okay, second. Second item. I guess it sits just like this. There's a little weapon replica, I guess. Interesting. So far, oh, okay. What have we got here? <laughs> okay, this is a little interesting, but still, what? WTF? They're salt and pepper shakers. Salt and pepper shakers. I guess that's how you fill them up. And even. I mean. Boy, when you talk about a crate called Newt. I mean, you got a nuke-throwing robot, a nuclear fat man, and then you got the two fat boys. <sighs> like, literally, it seems. And then it looks like... Let me get him out of there. Thank you, that's... This plastic wrap is a pain in the ass. Looks like you get the, uh... I'm guessing that's the antimantium skeleton pin. But it went back to just one little holder pin on there. Get out of here, pop up. Well, I can always 
Supposedly there's one thing missing, but we'll talk about that after this. Okay. What the hell? Okay. A magnet. Ball opener that's a scorpion or a rat scorpion. I guess it goes right there. I don't got anything to test it on. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's really magnetized. Well. <clears throat> you want to talk about what's missing? We got the Fat Man Scale Replica, the Rat Scorpion Ball Opener, Liberty Prime Build-A-Figure Torso, Mini Nuke Salt and Pepper Shakers, and the Adamantium Skeleton, I was right, Perk Pin. I guess they just dropped all the clothing completely. I should have known that when they gave us a ridiculous scarf and a apron and a Towel. So no shirts, no hoodies, no nothing. And we got this little art, I guess, of the and the box. Well, it just says Fallout Creed with schematics for a fat man, I guess. Well, this is pretty lackluster, I guess. Not the one I wanted. I mean, the... These are pretty cool, I guess, but... I can't see myself filling them. Uh, you know what is... <clears throat> you know what is cool, though, that my uh, good friend Armslave got me? This. They have these at GameStop and they're awesome. They're like glow in the dark quantum bottles. These are cool. And a bath mat, a Voltec bath mat. This is almost something I would expect in a loop crate. <clears throat> but no. They're giving us flimsy things, like this thing feels really weak. I could probably break this if I forced it enough. I mean, we always get the pins. We're get, always getting build a figures now. <sighs> if this is the path the Fallout crates going on, I am going to be disappointed. Anyway. Have a Merry Christmas to all, and to all, a good night!